Hey y'all, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to be walking you through how I plan my week. It's already Monday afternoon, and this is usually when I go through all my assignments, book out my calendar slots, because I love using my calendar to plan out stuff like this. And my goal is always to finish all my homework before the weekend starts. That way I can relax over the weekend or even get ahead on other work. That way there's no procrastination and there's never any rush to finish anything. Anyway, why don't I get onto the video and we'll be moving over to a screen recording. Let's get started. The way I'm gonna be populating this is using my Notion. So here's my Notion. So this is what I have to do this week. And let me make sure that all of this is accurate. Actually, I'm not doing this. And then I have a reading plus response due for my CS198 assignment. And then I just go ahead and populate this using our Canvas, using our um, websites that are pretty common for CS and EECS courses and also just any form of communication that has been sent out. So as you can see today I have to finish my history reading which is for tomorrow so I'm gonna go ahead and block that out. The only event I have today is my analyst training which is virtual so I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I'm gonna do history reading like so and I think this will probably take me around two hours but I definitely want to go to dinner so I'm probably going to duplicate this and then add it in again after all of this okay and then I have a reading and response for my CS class so I'm going to put that in here um, I like to leave at least half an hour after my classes unless they're virtual because usually I end up getting delayed somehow or maybe I go and grab something to eat. So I'm going to do my CS reading and response like so. And then I also have these. So those are internship applications. So I'll probably do those back to back. So internship. And so that will be checking in or doing more so work on them or refining my resume. It really depends because these technically aren't due tomorrow. I just want to make time for them. So I put them into my notion and then I have more history reading. Let me check what this assignment is. No readings. Oh my gosh. Celebration. So there's no readings, but the paper is due in class the next day and we're going to be watching a film so I can actually go ahead and delete that assignment and then as it mentioned I do have my paper due on Wednesday so I think I'm going to work on editing my paper today because I've already wrote it and I have had some peer reviewing of it so I just need to fix those comments up and then I think it'd probably be best for me to print it either on Tuesday or Wednesday so I can either go to the library or I do have a couple friends with printers. So the MLK building does have it. So why don't I just put in a little block right here to go print my paper. Because I think this will be helpful to like edit it, even if this isn't my final copy. That way I can like read it on paper and read it aloud and mark it up. So then I think I'll have my final edits of my paper, final edits of paper on Tuesday, and then I'll need to print it on Wednesday at some point. I'm not sure when that will fit into my day, but I'm going to add that. So print paper, for this. and then I mark what class it's for, and then I say this is an assessment because any of my bigger assignments, I consider them assessments because they're worth so many points in the class. So I just went ahead and did that. And then I have my math homework and I actually do have a math quiz on Friday. I haven't found out the sections it's on yet because it depends how much gets covered in tomorrow's lecture, but it's only worth 5% of my grade, like all my quizzes cumulatively. So it's not as stressful, but I do want to finish half of my math homework by that Friday. So 
I think after I finish my paper, I'm gonna do some math homework on Wednesday, math homework. And then, so I don't have to go to these homework parties and I usually don't. So I'll probably do some math homework here too, just so I can get something done and be productive. That'll probably fall there. And usually my math homework, let's see, last week. So my math homework, it took not that long, because apparently it's not even in here, which means that I was working on it during lecture um, for other courses or while I was out. So that is good. That means it's pretty fast last week, but it was a shorter assignment. So why don't we reference here? So I did one, two, three-ish, four-ish hours of math homework before I was able to take the quiz, which is in the morning. So um, one, two, three, okay, we'll go here. Four-ish hours of math homework before Friday. And then I think I'm also going to do my math reading for this quiz because that way I just read the textbook for it and it's kind of a way to study but it's also pretty important so I want to finish those on Thursday even though it's technically for Friday it's gonna move that first half of math homework over here and then I have my eeks homework which is usually pretty nice to do not easy but I think it's a pretty good assignment for understanding the concepts so I'll probably start working on that on Wednesday so I'll be busy then. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna go to dinner for sure at some point here. So I'll do a tiny bit of eeks homework for my meeting. And then I'll do some after. And then I think right here is probably the optimal time to do more. It usually doesn't take that long for me to do eeks homework. So I may only use two hours of these chunks, but we'll see. And then I also still need to do my math reading, which is more of a few, so I'm going to put that on Thursday right before the quiz, and I'll give, actually I'll only give an hour for that because it's pretty brief and I'm just taking notes on the most important things. And then I definitely want to make sure that I have minimal homework on Friday because that is actually when I'm going home for a brief amount of time and I'm not really sure how long I'll be home or when I'm coming back to campus. So it's pretty important for me to leave that space open. So I think in the morning though, I'll do some math homework because the rest of my math homework it will actually be due Monday because that's the official due date. I just like finishing the homework that's covered on the quiz. And then let's take a look at this history reading. Um, so this is a relatively long reading, so I'm probably going to want to work on that a little too. So we're going to add history reading, and I'll do that for an hour, just to start getting it done, hopefully, maybe an hour and a half even, and then I'll get dinner right here. As you can see, I really like to book my weeks, and then I do leave the last few hours of the day open. That way I can go do stuff with friends, do whatever I want. Oh my gosh, my toolbar is popping up. Oopsies. Anyway, but this is my schedule so far. As you can see, a lot of things are back to back and I don't traditionally actually do them back to back. Usually I'll take a 10 minute break between things. This just makes it easier for me to see when am I doing things, like what order I'm doing them in. Cause I personally prefer doing engineering, math, like anything that is not reading related all the time <laughs> like I will definitely put it off so as you can see on this day I'm forcing myself to finish my CS reading and response before my math homework like because no matter how interesting something is I would rather be doing math or engineering things that are like solving problems rather than reading but I understand that reading is super important so I'm trying to put it first but then for example here the EECS homework I don't know necessarily if I'm going to need this time, so I just put it here because I think it's going to be a pretty fast thing if I do, and then I go straight into my reading. Anyway, this is how it ties into here, 
and since I am going to print my paper on this day, I think I might do a lot of this work in the library because I'll already be on campus while Foothill is pretty far away. Also, if you can hear the police siren, please ignore it. Um, I can't, I just can't close my window because otherwise it will boil in my room. But this is my schedule. This is how I kind of go through it. And I guess I can kind of go through also how my notion looks. So for my history reading, I say the class, and I set this up as a single select, which you can click here and see the property type. And then you can also order them like so. And then I say the type, and I have it as a single select again, and it's assignment, assessment, studying, and then if it's complete or not, the due date, and then what platform. This can be helpful if it's not a traditional platform like Gradescope or B courses or Canvas that you're submitting through. And then for my history readings, I like just putting the reading here. That way I don't have to reference the syllabus and figure out what I'm reading. And of course, I did this for all of them. And the way I filter this so that it only shows what I still have left is like so. I say we only want to see where complete is not complete. It's that empty checkbox. And I really love this calendar view on Notion. I totally recommend. It makes it a lot easier to see things. And I definitely also recommend Google Calendar because just having the time blocked out forces you to kind of register that it is time to work, like I have something planned, you sit down, you spend that amount of time, and then you can reevaluate if you need to spend more time or not. But I feel like time blocks really help to hold you accountable because you're telling, my, you're telling yourself that you're going to do something and it's a lot harder to procrastinate when you do it like so. And so hopefully, we'll see, because my math homework, let me check how long it is this week. My math homework is not posted yet, so I can't even start my math homework today, but I'll figure out if I do need to book in math homework in this time, maybe when I'm going home, or maybe I will end up doing a tiny bit of math homework over the weekend, but in general, all my homework will be done before the weekend, unless there's an excessive amount of ha math homework which unfortunately there might be because usually there are a hundred plus problems, but we'll see. Anyway, this is how I approach it. Hopefully that was helpful. I think calendar events are really nice and putting them in these different colors, I did that with having different calendars. So planned is this versus my classes themselves are another calendar. That way I can see when they're happening and also just see other people's classes whose schedules I've added, such as my boyfriend. But yeah, this is how I go ahead and time block my day. It looks a little extreme when you check your calendar and you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. But remember, it's flexible. These are planned things. As I said, my calendar name is planned. So don't feel bad about switching things up. For example, if I start history reading and I'm like, I'm not really that hungry, I might history read all the way till the analyst training and then go out to dinner then instead. But I think this is a really good way to kind of figure out how long assignments actually take you, allowing you to better plan in the future, and also make sure you're making time for your assignments before they're actually due, such as editing my history paper, editing my history paper, making printed copies of it, and like starting my math homework before it's due, which is actually on Monday, but making sure I get through the sections I need to before my quiz on Friday. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I've been talking a lot, and all you've been seeing is my calendar, so Hopefully that was helpful. Sorry if I bored you to death. Um, like, subscribe, comment how you plan out things. Do you use like a physical to-do list? Do you use Google Calendar? Do you use Notion? If you do use Notion, do you have like a really aesthetic one or do you just stick to using like calendars like I do? I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!